Now we're going to size the primary overcurrent device with a full load current as less than 9 amps, but 2 amps or more, as outlined in our table 450.3b in the NEC. Now our transformer, as we see in the illustration, is 3kV, 3kVA, primary is 2 wire, secondary is 2 wire. Now notice when we go and review 408.36 of the code, the uh, primary overcurrent device uh, can protect the primary side of the transformer, the windings, the secondary side of the transformer, and everything is considered uh, protective if you size it properly in relation to the ratio of the uh, primary to the secondary voltage. But now, uh, the grounding is the same. You know, we're going to have a supply uh, side bonding jumper here uh, because it's not at the service. It's, uh, it's at a uh, separately derived system location. Uh, the uh, grounding electrode conductor uh, is sized again from 250.30A5, 250.86, as well as table 250.66 if you should... Uh, connect it to the structural steel. And then, of course, you select the grounding electrode conduct, uh, excuse me, the grounding electrode from 250.30A4 and 250.50 of the code if there's more than one electrode. Now, with this information, Gavin, as you see in the illustration, the overcurrent protection device in the primary side will be sized at 167% because the full load current of the transformer's primary side is less than 9 amps, but 2 amps or more. So next, we're going to perform the calculation.